Hello everyone! Welcome to week 5 of our mathematics class. Again, I am teacher Riza. This time, I will be discussing the objective solves routine problem involving division without any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. In this lesson, I will be discussing solving routine problems involving divisions without any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers, including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us first have a recap. What do you mean by routine problems? Anybody? Correct. Routine problems involves any one of the four operations in mathematics to solve problems that are practical in nature. It follows the step in solving word problem. How do we solve routine problems? In solving routine problems, you have to follow four steps. The first one is understand, wherein you have to know what is us and know what are the given. The next one is plan. From the word itself, plan. That means you have to determine the operation to be used and also you have to write the number sentence. The third one is solve. After determining the operation to be used and also applying the number sentence that you have created, you are now going to solve the problem. The last one is check and look back. That means you have to double check if the answer is correct. Can you do it? Let's find out. Now, I want to show you something. What is this class? Correct. This is a face mask. Why do we have to wear face mask? Correct again. In this time of pandemic, we have to wear face mask as a safety precaution against COVID-19. And why are we talking about face mask? This has something to do with the problem that I will be presenting to you. Always remember, wear your mask. Let's read and analyze the problem on the screen. Can anybody read it for me? Okay, let me repeat the problem. One brand of face mask costs 18 pesos and 50 centavos. If you have 1,868 pesos and 50 centavos, how many face masks can you buy? Did you get the problem? Let's find out. To further understand the problem, let us answer the following questions. What is us in the problem? Correct. We are looking for the number of face masks. Next, what are the given facts? Correct again. The given facts are 1,868 and 50 centavos and 18 pesos and 50 centavos. Next question. What is the operation to be used? Very good. We have to use division. What is the number sentence? Correct again. The number sentence is 1,868 and 50 centavos divided by 18 pesos and 50 centavos equals N. Let us solve. We have here 1,868 and 50 centavos 
divided by 18 pesos and 50 centavos. If you notice, we have a decimal number inside the dividend and also a decimal number in our divisor. And how do we solve decimal numbers? Can you still recall? Very good. In dividing decimal numbers, especially if the divisor has a decimal number, we have to move the decimal places going to the right to make it a whole number. In this given, we have 18.50 or 18 and 50 hundredths. So we have to move the decimal point two places going to the right to make it a whole number. In that case, if you move it two places going to the right, you also have to move the decimal point inside the dividend two places going to the right. After doing it, you can start solving the given problem. So, we have 1,868 divided by 1,850 is equal to 1. 1 times 1,850 is equal to 1,850. Subtract 1,868 minus 1,850 is equal to 18. Bring down 5. 185 divided by 1,850 is equal to, correct, you cannot divide it because 185 is smaller than 1,850. So we have to write zero on top. Continue the process. Zero times 1,850 is equal to zero. 185 minus 0 is equal to 185. Bring down 0. 1,850 divided by 1,850 is equal to 1. 1 times 1,850 is equal to 1,850. Subtract 1,850 minus 1,850 is equal to 0. The quotient is 101. Therefore, with your money of 1,868.50 centavos, you can buy 101 pieces of face mask. To check, just multiply 101 times 18.50. And you get the number inside the dividend. Let's have another example. I have here 100 and 182 thousands divided by 28 and 3 tenths. As you can see, we have a decimal number to solve. So in our divisor, which is 28 and 3 tenths, you have to move the decimal point one place going to the right to make it a whole number. In the same manner, you also have to move the decimal point in the dividend one place going to the right to continue solving the problem. Let's start. We now have 1 1,001 and 82 hundredths divided by 283. 1,001 divided by 283 is equal to 3. 3 times 283 is equal to 849. Subtract 1,001 minus 849 is equal to 152. Bring down 8. 1,528 divided by 283 is equal to 5. As you can see, there is already a decimal point. It is aligned with the decimal point inside the dividend. Let's continue. 5 times 283 is equal to 1,415. Subtract 
1528 minus 1415 is equal to 113. Bring down 2. 1132 divided by 283 is equal to 4. 4 times 283 is equal to 1132. To subtract, 1,132 minus 1,132 is equal to, correct, that is equal to 0. So, the quotient is 3 and 54 hundredths. Did you get it now? Easy, isn't it? Always remember, in dividing decimal by another decimal, Follow the following procedures. Change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the rightmost place. Move the decimal point in the dividend as many places as the decimal point in the divisor was moved. Then, divide as in dividing a whole number. Is it clear to you now? Check the answer by multiplying the quotient by the divisor. Good job, kids! You're all attentive and participative today. I'm sure that you will be able to answer all the exercises in your module. But still, if you have any or you will encounter any queries, about the exercises, you can go back and watch this video again or you can just text me if you want to make sure if your answer is correct. Bye for now. Make sure or please answer all the exercises in your module. Always remember, your safety is our priority. Ingat.